Hi everybody. Um, Danelle here. Uh, two things. Forgive the noise. Uh, it's my AC and it's really too hot to shut it off right now. So apologies. Um, also this... I can't figure out how I got this background thing. The I think they call it a vignette. I I can't find it in the settings to shut it off. I don't even know how it got turned on. Might, may have done it in a state of dementia. I don't know. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, as you obviously know. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, you know, to... one of you that you know, waits for my videos and likes to watch me ramble on. Uh, I'm going to try to get back into it. I've been in the process of trying to sell the house. Dad's name's still on the title, so every sale I've tried, to, the title company's just giving me a hard time getting it off, um, wanting to find people that knew him from 1985 and who knew my sister for 10 years and I have to split her half of his half between her two boys now so they each get an eighth I, I, um, but there's no equity in the house I don't know what they're getting an eighth of uh, I'm hoping to get enough out of it to be able to just buy you know maybe 10 acres of land uh, or more if I got lucky. Uh, not having very much. I don't know how much I can get. Um, the reason I am making this video right now. Is because. Uh, I watch. You know. I, just, I watch my news. As I do by loading clip after clip in my queue. On YouTube. And you know the, thing, the things I want to keep track of. And I try to watch, you know, four or five different channels on every topic. Uh, so I get, you know, all kinds of points of views and know what's going on. Um, and I just haven't felt up to making any videos in the past few months because of all this, you know. But then there's all this going on in the news and... I think to myself, oh my god, I want to throw in my two cents worth, you know, um, about that. And there was a, a clip I just watched on Clarence Thomas in the Supreme Court. And, um, excuse me for a second. <laughs> okay, I keep a jug in the freezer so I have ice water. Um, so Clarence Thomas on the Supreme Court, uh, you know, has done all kinds of, obviously most people know, he's been doing all kinds of, enjoying all kinds of gifts and luxuries from these, you know, billionaires and big corporations or whatever and not reporting it as he's supposed to to whoever at the beginning of each term or end of each term I don't know um, and he's been doing this for some 20 some years 30 years I, 30 years I think God, I was in Vegas Casey was a baby it's been 30 years um, God um, <laughs> and then they, they reflected back on um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg who I love and adore and apparently she had been doing the same thing too or she had done it two or three times um, she did report it though but they were people giving her money who then later had cases come before the court and that you know presents a big conflict of interest so they are supposed to remove themselves from cases like that or not put themselves in that position in the first place um, by taking gifts like this so uh, also um who was it that died last year? Oh, 
uh, I can't remember the other one they um, mentioned has has done it to uh, pretty much everybody on the court at uh, the Supreme Court has been taking uh, gifts uh, I see as a uh, infinite bribe <laughs> Uh, to, you know, rule in their favor whenever they appear before them. Um, Clarence Thomas has got this going on, you know, on and on and on, like, regularly. The rest of them mostly have just done it here and there. Um, but it's not, that's not right. And th th these are people that are making decisions for all the rest of us. And they are not, not deciding in favor of the majority. Um, I was really upset over Roe versus Wade. Not that it affects me at all, but it affects my children and my adopted children and my grandchildren and um, many of them are girls. <laughs> and I can't bear the thought that they would be forced to carry a pregnancy that was forced upon them anyway. And although, you know, I myself could never have an abortion, um, I've miscarried four times, and the first time I told my husband I felt like I was having an abortion because I had to go have them go in and clean, clean the uterus out. And, and um, I just don't want my girls to have to to have to grow up in a world where they don't have a say so about what happens to their body even if it's got you know this other little parasite growing in them <laughs> and I do believe that there has to be a limit I mean I wouldn't ever go past the first trimester you know want anybody to go past the first trimester I myself would have a baby no matter what but but They're just making it so difficult. There's like 22 states now that have like almost completely outlawed it. And I think 30 something that have really strict rules about it. Um, I think it was Iowa. Iowa. Today just passed a six week ban. Women don't even know they're pregnant by six weeks. So that's a total ban. How, how can that be? How can you do that to somebody? When we are carrying a child, that child is a part of us. It is not yet an individual. I believe that, you know, individuals are the ones that have rights. <laughs> and we even take those rights away from some of our disabled sometimes, you know, because for their own good. This thing growing inside of us that are pregnant, up until a certain point, it really is nothing but a parasite. Yeah, there's functioning primary organs primitive as they may be um, and the, you know, spine tail and all we look like a lizard for the first month then we start looking more like a chicken but a baby is not really a baby until it's out of the, the zygote stage out of the embryo stage becomes a fetus and I believe that's in the fourth month so I would say stick with first trimester cut it off at there but everybody has to be able to make that choice for themselves whether or not to have an abortion because it's your body their body you get to decide they get to decide it's We can't allow the 
We cannot allow an embryo to have rights above ours. And that's what they're doing when they're forcing women to carry to term a pregnancy that was unwanted or deemed dangerous. Only, you know, permitting some of them, even only permitting abortions in case of the, you know, life of the mother being threatened. Well, dude, you've already screwed up the life of the mother because she didn't intend to have this child and it's traumatized her now whether or not she keeps the child it's going to continue to traumatize her and heaven only knows where that child's going to end up it just it is not yet a baby it is not an individual it cannot be considered an individual human being until it is born and then it has all rights of all Americans in the womb, that baby is part of its mama, not an individual. She is the individual carrying this little parasite. I did it four times. Aside from the four I lost, I, I had four children. And I have raised them all to adulthood as, as well as I knew how. I've come to learn that I've screwed up a few times in a couple of their lives. Um, not being vigilant enough, perhaps. Not being protective enough. And that pains me. But these are my babies. From 40 years to 25. <laughs> Three boys, one girl. No, she has a girl. And four boys. <laughs> Guys, we need to reverse the decision, taking away Roe versus Wade. We need to leave it in the, the hands of women and their doctors. It's between a woman and her doctor. And if she's married, you know, her husband has rights. It's just not fair what they're trying to do. They're, they're trying to turn us into a handmaid's tale. Uh, America. And uh, I won't live there. I'll fucking go to Mexico or South America somewhere. Where it's warmer even. No, not warmer than in the summer in Texas. Um, it's 102 degrees here today, Jeez. where it's tropical. <laughs> okay, um, so anyway, I just, watching that clip, it pissed me off so bad, I told myself, you have to do this video. So there it is, my two cents. The Supreme Court is corrupt. They've all taken bribes over time. Um, Maybe we could forgive and let them hold their seats, but I think we need to add at least at least two more, maybe four more to it. Thirteen sounds like a good number. I've always liked the number thirteen. We have thirteen people making decisions uh, in the Supreme Court. It just might be a little more representative of mainstream America. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't, I just don't know what else to say. It just blows my mind. I never, ever, ever, ever thought in my lifetime I would see something like this in America. Stripping of rights, right and left. Just, just across the board, they're taking away trans rights, I mean all kinds of trans rights, Indi individual trans rights being very specific about what they can and cannot do. Story Queen, or Story Hour, whatever, uh, Drag Queen Story Hour, um, they can't have shows, uh, mm -hmm. I, okay, on the trans issue, that's a costume, it's a costume, that's all it is, I'll make another video in greater detail about that, um, 
for now. I just want everyone to be aware. Watch the Supreme Court. Be sure you get out and vote. Vote, vote, vote. Um, not that we get to vote for the Supreme Court, but those that we vote for will put the right people on the Supreme Court, and that would be Democratic. Um, I'm an independent, but I side with the Democrats on most issues. Um, most issues. <laughs> but not everything. So, there you go. Yeah, that's my two cents. Um, take it or leave it. And uh, put in the comments if you want what your two cents is. And I may respond. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Love you all. Till later. God bless.